Hey everybody, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, this video today is going to be uh, about one of my favorite plugins that I put on just about every site I do. No, actually I do put it on every site I make. And that is uh, Simple CSS. It's a uh, very nice light light plugin uh, that gives you... Uh, the ability to enter your uh, custom CSS for your site in a few different locations and uh, it uh, really works quite nicely. Now one thing to uh, make note of right away is that it is a CSS editor. In other words, it's a place where you can enter the CSS that you've come up with on your own. It is not uh, a CSS builder or inspector or whatever you want to call uh, some other of the plugins such as Yellow Pencil, uh, Micro Themer, CSS Hero, uh, missing one there. Um, it'll come to me. But anyways, uh, those ones uh, will let you uh, pick out and choose whatever selectors uh, you want to work with. But this one is for if you've already determined that using uh, your knowledge or one of the dev tools in one of the other pro uh, browsers. So with that in mind, uh, let's go take a look. Uh, this is, by the way, a, a blank pretty much plain install of uh, the latest WordPress, which is 4.6.1 at the time of this video. And uh, I'm using it to uh, do some other videos, but uh, I thought I'd retitle it for this one for Simple CSS, because uh, it's something I really like. And by the way, Simple CSS is brought to you by uh, Tom over there at uh, Generate Press and as well as WP Show Post. So uh, we know it's well coded, it's very efficient, and uh, let's go take a look. So just to uh, show you where it is, here's Simple CSS. You can see I've got a few other things. This is what I'm going to be working on some other videos, but anyways, to add it, uh, just go add new. This is the easiest and search for a simple CSS. And there it is. And it shows that it's active already, but that's where you do it. You would click install now and then activate. And then you would end up with this. So once that's activated, you'll find it in a few places right here is the simple CSS editor and you can select dark or light. I used to go with the light and then I started switching over to dark and I really like it because of the uh, code highlighting. And uh, I'll come back to this in just a second. I'll just show you where else you're going to find CSS, uh, simple CSS here in the customizer. Uh, it installs itself here where you can enter your CSS. Uh, now, just so you know that uh, it will show up in the customizer uh, regardless of the theme. Let me just go show you that. I still have uh, 2016 here. And go into customize. And there's your CS, simple CSS for that. No, we don't want that one. We want to use Generate Press. My favorite theme these days. So that's the uh, two places that you're going to find it. But what's really nice here about uh, Simple CSS is that it uh, also adds uh, a meta box on every page and post. So if you have CSS that you want to apply to just the one page or post, you can enter it in this uh, area right here, and uh, it'll apply to just that specific page or post. 
So let me just uh, show you one of the very first things I do nowadays uh, when I install uh, Simple CSS. We'll go back to the main editor. And uh, let me just go grab some, uh, well, let me just enter some uh, site uh, description. Uh, do 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 color. Let's go blue and uh, oops, helps if I can type right. Font size. Oh, let's go 25 pixels. Okay, there we go. Now, I don't know, I'm just going to save that. Uh, I don't know about you or how your eyes are doing these days, but uh, uh, mine are a little on the weak side. And I'd like to uh, have that a little bit bigger. So this is what I need to right off the bat, is I'll go here and open up the CSS for that. And uh, you can see I'm running here an XAMPP. And you'll find that in WP Content Plugins, Simple CSS, and then the CSS folder and Code Mirror. And uh, what we want to do is uh, add a font size here. So we'll go font size. And I found that for me, 16 works well. But for this example, I'm going to go 18. So you can see the difference. And we'll save that. And you'll note that I'm using Notepad++. And you should as well. And if we go here and uh, do reload the page, there you go. That's something that's a little bit more readable. Now, let's go see what that actually did. So while we're back here in the front of the site, and there's our blue and 25 pixels. All right, that's something else I'm working on, but you get the idea. So let's say uh, that on the About page, we'd like that to be red. And oh, what? So we can really see the difference. 45 pixels. OK, so now go over to About and there you have it, and it's just on that page. Uh, so basically, that's pretty much it for CSS uh, with the simple CSS. And uh, just to recap, you can have it in three different places. It's uh, in a page or post right here, and that will be specific for that. You'll also have it here uh, in its standalone editor. And you will also have it in your themes customizer. And as you can see, that CSS is there. So that's about it. And thank you for watching.